Welcome to Crypto Rosetta. My name is Savage. Today we are looking at Hex. Now we don't have a lot of price history here. We only have price history from May 2020. And because of that, we don't really know where within the sequence this whole move has taken place. Now, because of that, we need to be aware that there is always the potential that even though we have this move to the upside here, we could always see this break down and take this low. However, there's nothing really indicating an impulsive move as of this moment, but we could always see something develop as time goes on. So we'll have to keep an eye on it. Now, the way that I'm currently looking at this move is that I'm treating this move as a potential one, two, three, four, five to the upside for an A wave. Looking for this as a potential B wave here, which we would be looking for this typical B wave to actually come down to this zero, two six one one which we've already come past into this lower range so we actually are in this golden pocket area currently towards this 1264 to this 1038 now some other interesting areas that we have here is this 702 sitting at this 00754 and then this lower range here this 0786 which would be here towards this 00450 now what I would be looking for here is basically treating this as a three-way move to the upside where this is a flat correction in the middle. And we can look at this decline here in two ways. So we could argue that this is either W, X, and then Y, in which case what we would be expecting to see in this last bit here would be a three-way move. So we're going to discuss that count as well as where this could also be counted as A, B, and then C, where we're looking for the C wave potentially to come back down towards this 0 0.00768 as a one-to-one. -one. Now we have technically come deep enough, so we always need to be cautious, particularly because we've actually come into this golden pocket that we could actually see some kind of reversal, but there's nothing showing this at the moment. Now, if we did have to find support here towards this one-to-one, -one, what we could then effectively be looking for is either this is an A, B, and a C, where we see a push up towards this $3.59, alternatively a bigger third wave which would be up here which you know is uh probably a bit unrealistic if you ask me i think it would be more likely if anything we've got a corrective structure to the upside here okay so let's get into the internals here now now looking at this current move what i'm treating this last bit as is as either a five wave decline that is still in progress or a corrective breakdown. So we're going to go over the corrective breakdown first. So this would be looking at this move and, and subdividing this as basically A, B and C for an A wave. This is a B wave to the upside. Now, the reason I don't like counting it in this way is because this B wave would have been very short. Now, what we'd be looking for here effectively would be a C wave to the downside. So this one to one target would actually be here towards this 00697 area. So that would be our one to one zone. Now, if we do look to break down here one more time for this additional leg, what we could also see is see this fall short towards the 786, which would be here at this 01020 and this 0. 0904. Now, if I throw the 0 0.618 here, we can see that we've actually met this requirement already. So, even though the structure is suggesting that we have lower to come here, just need to be careful because we have actually technically met a minimum requirement. Now, now if this is rather not an A, B, and a C like this, but rather a W, X, and a Y, what we would then be expecting is this move to complete three wave move to the upside and then an additional break to the downside so really until we take this high of this b wave of this 4155 we'd have to be careful that there isn't extension here where we could still see this play out as a three wave move making this w x and y to the downside so still looking for that target area so if i overlay the other count here what we can see is that this one to one would bring us right into that one to one area and the 702 retracement at the 00754 area so this would be quite an interesting zone if we do actually continue down to that one to one now the other way that we could argue that this is playing out is that this could actually be a wave one as a diagonal this is a wave two and then actually we're starting to break down in a bigger way here we would be arguing that within the structure we have a one two an additional one two here and we're starting to break down so i'm actually going to come on to the hourly here and we're going to go over these counts so what i would be doing within this internal count is treating this as an additional one two this is a third wave here looking at this as a fourth so this fourth wave could be completed here and judging by the state or the size of this wave two here i would say that it is likely that it is completed now typically what we'd be looking for as a fifth wave here would actually be a move down towards this 01030 to the 00887. So if we do see a move into this target box here, what I would then be looking for is that potential to actually see an additional fourth and a fifth wave here. So really until we actually break back above this previous fourth wave location here of this 01661, 
I would be looking out for that potential that we could see this continue to move down here where this would be then looking to form an additional fourth wave to the upside and looking for rejection again. If we did look to break down in this way, now I've got some interesting target levels. If we did move into this green box here, this would actually make this a 2.618 of this wave one two here. So of this wave one, this would be 2.618. And this is actually sitting towards this 00978, which ties in with that central line of this target area. Now, if we did have to get a push to the upside again here, what we could see is a move into this previous fourth wave location of this 01663 before looking for this additional fifth wave to the downside now the target area for the wide count, wide count which would be the second um, set of five wave moves would actually look to be here towards the 00854 to the 00694 region so if we did have to break down here one more time this could actually tie in with this idea of coming into this white box area if we did break down into this white box area then we'd have to be cautious of that potential that we would still have an additional fourth which could look to bring us back up into this previous fourth wave area and then looking for a fifth wave down towards the 00659 to the 00495 so the key thing to take away from this is that basically within this move what we'd be doing is failing to actually break the previous swing highs and then looking to break down and continuing this uh, move to the downside now if we did look to break down even deeper here what we could be looking to do is actually move down to the 2.618 of this blue count where this is a 1-2 which would actually be lower down here towards this zone of this 00634 once again this ties in with this idea of coming into this green box area of the 00657 or 659 to this 00495 area now if we did see a move down to this 2.618 which would actually be here at the 00634 what we could then see is an additional fourth wave to the upside now the target area for this is or the typical area for this is a fourth wave would actually be this zone of this 2326 to the 011 area now if we did move back up into this in a three wave move what we would then be looking for is that additional fifth wave, which could look to land us right here towards this 00456 to this 00305. Now, this would tie in with that idea of actually coming back even deeper within this um, within this retracement zone that we're looking at. And that would actually look to push us into this 786 retracement, which would be down here towards the 00450. Now, what we would have to be cautious of is if we do lose this zone of the 00450, and we start to consolidate below this zone this actually indicates a uh, likelihood that we're going to see continuation to the downside so we don't really want to lose this area um you know a wick through this finding support back above it and starting to build structure to the upside again is what we want to see if we want to look for a reversal so that would be looking for this potential of actually pushing down a little bit deeper now this white count is the same within the within this uh, corrective count now where we're treating this as one two three four and five now if this is the case what this could mean is that this 0854 to the 00694 would actually be where we would potentially be looking for this c wave to end so we can see that that would actually be a little bit higher up here towards the 0.854 but if it does look to extend out and we're looking at this as a single c wave to the downside one two three four five this would tie in with this idea of actually coming down towards this zone of the 00697 so we're gonna to have to keep an eye on that level as well if we do move down into that zone okay so i'm going to leave the video there i hope you found it useful if you did please smash the like button hit that subscribe button if you haven't already turn on those bell notifications so you never miss a video and leave us some feedback down below also in the description you'll find a link to the discord come check it out it's free to join everyone have a great day we'll see you in the next one take care